Hey guys, I'm back. Um, the reason I haven't gotten a video out sooner is because it's not easy for me to get videos out on weekdays. But um, I hope to make it up to you by getting <clears throat> several videos done this week. So, we're going to start by taking apart this Quest modem I found at a thrift shop for like five bucks. And I haven't take this, taken this one apart yet, but this will be the, my first time. So, yeah, the first thing you want to do is remove these little sticky pads and place them off to the side somewhere so that they don't get stuck to something. I'll just put them out of view for now. Just be careful and don't, like, bend them up. Pretty easy, right? Oops. Just the most important thing is that they don't get... <clears throat> turned over and get stuck to something. Now it's probably alright if they do, it's just not, it just doesn't look as nice when you're finished. Okay, so now obviously you're just gonna wanna unscrew this. It's these screws. One screw. Two screws. Three screws and four screws. Um, and it doesn't look like there's anything under this. So we're going to assume that there's nothing under this. Put these screws in a little pile somewhere. And it looks like I was right. There is nothing underneath this. So yeah, it looks like you just... Actually, you want to do it this way. Turn it over and lift the cover up that way. I don't know what this is right here. Just this little plastic card. Maybe you've got wax on it or something. Um, I don't know. Let's continue. <clears throat> ah, I know what it is. Kind of. Well, anyway, there's two more of these on the vents right here. And one second. Two more of these on the vents. So, um, yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like a heat transferring. So yeah, here's the antenna, as you can plainly see. And looks like it should be simple as just lifting the circuit board up, and it is. <clears throat> so we have now taken it apart, and um... Darn it. Ah. There we go. To say the least, it's pretty simple inside. So this thing takes, I believe it's 12 volts, so uh, not a lot. So here's all the little LEDs right here, down here. It's probably this <clears throat> shielding block signal, um, signal, uh, what's the word, interference. And here is the main chip, looks like it's a Texas Instruments. You might not be able to see it in the video, but main chip, big 220 microfarad, or sorry, just farad, um, capacitor, and just some basic components, um, nothing more, and here we have a antenna, pretty basic antenna, so um, yeah, that's about it <clears throat> for this. To put it back together, it's obviously very simple. Simply put this back on and screw the oops, screws back in where they actually you know, put it this way. Then um, screw the screws in back in the way that they were. Put these little gummy things on, and you're finished. More videos coming soon. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, the reason I haven't gotten a video out sooner is because it's not easy for me to get videos out on weekdays. But um, I hope to make it up to you by getting <clears throat> several videos done this week. So, we're going to start by taking apart this Quest modem I found at a thrift shop for like five bucks. And I haven't take this, taken this one apart.